like it looked like you had you guys had fixed some of your defensive issues in your last game, but a lot of the same stuff cropped up again tonight. What just what 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 was going on out there? Uh, I think our offense uh, not making shots. Some of the, some guys not making shots, or um, we uh, not executing well. I think we had our offense affect our defense. Um, got good guards. They got really good guards. They almost played four guards. It was executing really well. It was executing great. So, and we didn't play defense. We didn't execute anything we wanted to do on defense. Whether it was switching, or, you know, containing the dribble or anything, you know, we let a bunch of right-handed guys go right. You know, shooters knock down shots and let them execute their plays. You know, we knew they would you know, get the ball out after a miss or a make. We let them get transition buckets. So we didn't execute anything we wanted to do on defense. Story of the game. After that big win against Kansas State, how well prepared did you guys feel coming into this one and then you know, maybe carrying out a little bit of momentum? We was really prepared. We had a lot of momentum going. Um, I was confident. You know, everybody pretty much had a good game that played. Good win on national TV. You know, just didn't come on and get it done. If you ask me, I really don't know. Kind of, you know, unpredictable right now. One day we're good, one day we're not. As a leader, I got to try to figure out a way to, you know, get us more consistent as far as you know, putting out the same effort, the same intensity on defense. And, just, just playing hard all the time, no matter what. Make make a shot, miss a shot. You know, whatever the case may be, we just gotta play hard all the time. And I also gotta stay out of foul trouble. So I to be out there with my team. Got a foul trouble early. Barely played in the first half. You know, they made some runs. You know, I'm playing. Who knows what happens? But like I said, they're a good team, really good team, and they played really well tonight. Was there anything Indiana was doing on defense that was frustrating you guys? Not frustrating. I mean, we watch a lot of film. You know, our coaches do a great job of making sure we know what the other teams want to do. We pretty much know what they want to do. Play four guards, you know, you know, drive, a lot of drives, driving kicks, get to the shooters, uh, spaces out, you know, you know, some ISOs. Big man was going to run the baseline. Pretty much knew what they was going to do. Like I said, we just didn't get it done on defense. Chris, you guys usually have been pretty good against two, three zones, but in this game, you had that stretch where you guys hit, I think, four, or maybe five threes, and like, you know, but other than that, you really weren't able to consistently score. Was was just not execute what you were looking for on offense, or is their defense, you know, shift? Were they doing something different than you usually see from two three? Um, no, they played the, the normal two three. I think it was uh, we weren't really executing on sets, and uh, I think that starts out front. And uh, I'll start by saying that was part of my fault. Uh, we did a poor job as guards getting in the lane. Um, I think we did. Do some good jobs to get a high post touches, but other than that, I think we did a poor job uh, penetrating his own. So, yeah. Looked like you got to go in there at the end of the first half. Did they, did you notice their defense maybe keying on you a little bit more in the second, or was it just the circumstances of the game? Um, not really. I mean, they they, they were, I guess you could say they were closing out a little harder, but uh, they they stayed with their solid two three. I just uh, missed some open shots and. Uh, then we just got to do a better job of getting the ball inside to uh, Mike, who was in there more in the second half. And uh, I think if we did that better um, with penetrating uh, the gaps in the zone, then we would we'd, uh, execute it better on the offensive line. Chris, can you talk a little bit more about what you guys did right at the end of the half? When you, you put together that run of points, what happened there that wasn't happening earlier or later? Um, I think we did a... In that, in that small time in, in the, at the end of the half, I think we did a good job of getting the ball out. And, uh, Josh was pushing it and getting in the lane and uh, creating for me and other guys. So uh, I think we did a good job at that at the end of the, sec at the, end of the um, first half. And in the second half, I think our offense just became more stagnant. And we were just kind of swinging the ball around the horn instead of really getting into the lane. So is that what you're going to have to do more of that at the end of the half? You know, as you move forward? Yeah, uh, definitely getting in the lane and making, making plays. Once you guys start trailing, especially in this uh, road environment, does that have any effect as far as you guys trying to make a comeback, whether like psychologically or anything like that? Uh, no, I, I don't think so, really. I mean, uh, a lot of guys on this team played last year, and uh, as Coach Dixon pointed out, uh, we were one of the better teams on the road last year. Um, for whatever reason, we just didn't uh, we just didn't get it together like we wanted to tonight, and that was both ends of the ball.
You guys had 25 offensive rebounds, but Indiana had a big advantage in points in the paint. Is it just, just finishing inside? Um, we had 25 offensive rebounds. <sighs> For our misses, they wasn't missing. No, you had 25. Yeah, I mean, we had 25 yeah. offensive rebounds. They was doing a lot of missing. I mean, yeah. we was doing a lot of missing. Yeah. And, you know, we wasn't finishing layups. I missed a few easy ones, you know, we was missing layups. I mean, it's great to get up to, uh, 25 offensive rebounds and not rebound them, but we got to finish. And the guys, they got to have some effect on the game. I don't think it really had that effect on the game, you know. Mm -hmm. We would get it, miss, get it back, miss, and then we did it. We're all in the paint trying to get offensive rebounds. And the moment they get the ball, they got three or four guys out on the break, and it's three on one, uh, three on two. So we make those layups, maybe we're able to get back. But I don't think uh, having 25 offensive rebounds, you know, kind of correlated to our success in the game. Anything else for the players? Okay. Thanks, guys.